Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. It has been forever since I've done a video. My daughter got married, we had some adjusting, and now my husband and I are empty nesters. That being said, we just went to Orlando for our anniversary, our 28th anniversary actually. Um, we went March, uh, we left on the 10th and we came home on the 26th, so we had a nice long vacation. Um, it was fabulous. The weather was amazing. Oh, and if my face looks weird, I had surgery on this side, so it's a little swollen. I had stitches inside my jaw here. It's getting better, though. But anyway, I have so much stuff to show you. My husband took, um, uh, not took, but bought souvenirs, like, everywhere. Um, and, well, when we got there, uh, the weather was perfect. It was so funny because the Florida people thought it was kind of chilly, and I'm from the north so I thought this is like summertime it was absolutely wonderful there were a few evenings where we had to like grab a sweatshirt or something if we were by the water at Disney Springs or something like that but I'm so excited because my glasses are getting crooked there we go I'm so excited because I have so many things to show you and my husband absolutely treats me like I'm a princess when I'm there so he really spoiled me um well first of all when we went to Disney Springs we went to I, either it was the Goofy Candy Shop or the Bakery on the Boardwalk. I, I can't remember all of the, the stores you went into, but I, I love the Rice Krispie Treats. And I was going to try to save this to show you guys, but I ate the ears off. Look, I could not help myself. This was before, obviously before my surgery. I got that after I got home, but I took advantage. And I wanted to save it to show you, to show it in one piece, but I kind of look. So there were normally there's an ear here and an ear here, but we kind of nibbled on it. So that's what left of my that was left of my race <laughs> race crispy treat. I really I had good intentions. I really <laughs> really did plan on showing you guys the whole thing there, but sorry about that. I didn't, it's really good, by the way. I want to take a bite right now, but I can't. And when we went into uh, we went to Epcot and at Disney Springs, they give you these pins. So this one says "Happy 28th Years, Happily Ever After," and this one says "I'm Celebrating 28th Anniversary." I love these pins. We wore them everywhere, and every restaurant we went into that was on on Disney property or Disney Springs, they gave us a free dessert. So I ate a lot of dessert. So I have a lot of, but luckily we walked after. So it's kind of, you know, happy medium there. But yeah, I have to go back to exercising. But it, we ate at Maria and Enzo's, um, I, the Boat House, uh, House of Blues, I think Paddlefish. Oh, Wolfgang Puck. We ate there a couple times. It's one of my favorites. Um, hmm. Of course, oh, Starbucks. That was from morning time. Um, I can't, I don't know. It was all over the place. And they had a Mickey pretzel. For, that was my first Mickey pretzel. And we went to Cirque du Soleil. Um, Ink and Paint, I believe, is the name of the show. It was amazing. I got to sit in the front row. It was, it was fabulous. Um, the, the performers were terrific. It was so awesome to watch. But, okay, so besides my Mickey treat and those pins, I got some other pins. So these ones are from Epcot. This one says Disney 100. So the, it's a castle, and it's really shiny. I'm trying to... Let me back it up there. I have the window open behind me, so I get... There you go. I think you could see it there. And it's Minnie and Mickey, and it says Disney 100 with a castle on it. And then... This one says, my happy place is with you, and it's, sorry, Minnie and Mickey and fireworks behind them. Look at how cute that is. My honey picked that one out. That was just a four-wheeler that went through the cornfield, that noise right there. I get that a lot in my house. And, let's see, since we're talking about Cirque du Soleil, um, I'll show you what I got from there. This book... It's called Ink and Paint, and it's about the women of Walt Disney's animation. I'm, I'm literally going to read this. 
honestly. Look at, let me show you the pictures. Hang on. Some of the pictures in it of these women. It's, it's beautiful, and I love the era also. So, so it's going to be wonderful for me. But the classic black and white pictures. I am sorry. I should have. I should have uh, put some post-it post notes or something. I don't want to waste my time. Waste your time trying to find pages. But here they are trying to mix the paint. You could see some of those. See, that's, that is fabulous to me. Absolutely fabulous. And it's from when they started to now. Um, uh, and, and they also helped with um, World War II and working with metal. And some of these women, after doing that, went on to work uh, for Disney. See, there's a lady working right there. But this was the 1940s, and it's like divided up by year, which that's also wonderful. And then there's some of the original sketches, and let's see. There you go. That's the lady that drew Donald. Well, for that one, I don't, this is all about the women. So that's fascinating. Even like during the Depression and how Walt paid his workers and made sure they were all taken care of. Like that's that's just terrific. And there's a picture of the pen. Yeah, so let me see if I can find some more of the sketches since that's what it's about. Some of the original. Let's see, besides them. There's tons of pics. I'm just trying to get some of the most. Um, let's see. So look at those ones. But, and then I love the back of it. It's all the paint that they had on the shelves. But yeah, so this is the women of Walt Disney's animation. So I really am going to dive into this. He used to give them tea time. See, it says tea timing on there. But look, with them having their breaks, and they're like two or three times a day, they would do that. And just almost like, of course, it's Disney, so it's probably like a vacation at work. I would have loved to work there during that time. I'm an old soul. I love that era. And then I got this sweatshirt because it was chilly that night. And, of course, I didn't bring nothing because my husband was like, oh, it's going to be warm. You don't need a sweater. So, look at my glasses keep popping up. So, I got this sweater because it was cold. It says, Drawn to Life, Cirque du Soleil. And I love the color. It's a hoodie. And then the arms are just stripes. And it's just right. So, I got that. Let me see. They move it too much. Cirque du Soleil drawn to life and it's got pockets. So I got that because it was cold and I didn't bring the sweater. Conveniently. <laughs> I did that. So, And then, of course, we went to Epcot and we went to France. And that was my favorite. I love France and their snacks are just amazing. And I got this apron. And they had a mini boutique. I'm sure that's not the name of it. I'll have to look it up. And I got an apron. It was everything mini. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at, look at that. Look at her. She's so cute. Look at her bike and her flowers. And there she is sitting there. This is the bottom of the apron. And this got flowers that are embroidered here on the bottom. Look at that. Like lilacs or lavender. I'm not sure which one those are. And then there's mini on the bottom. So pretty. It's all wrinkled because I had it in my bag. Now that I showed you, I can use it. And this book, I'm not sure if he got it there. It's the story of Disney One. Oh no, I've got to tell you something else. I'm all over the place. When we were at, um, I don't know where the heck I put that at. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. I'm trying to find something. Oh, that. I have a ton of stuff to show you guys. My chair back here. Sorry about that. This is the uh, spirit jersey I got from France in the mini boutique. I already I washed it because I wore it twice over there, and I had it air drying, so I just need to get the wrinkles out. But look, this you only can only get it there in France. Here's the front of it, or the little corner. It's got mini, and it's like a. Like a vellum, not a vellum, vinyl kind of, with a bow, and it's real shimmery. 
and then it has like an ombre effect at the bottom. Very springy. <gasps> Look at the back. It says bonjour on it. Can you see that? See? And that's also that purplish color. And then look at the bottom. That goes with ombre, but look at the bottom of it. And of course, they had the Flower and Garden Festival going on, so everything was about that. Look at that. <laughs> I do my eyebrows and it makes my glasses move up. So I absolutely, this is my favorite spirit jersey. Absolutely. And there's a, the arms are kind of a yellow, white, and pinkish. Goes into like a lavender ombre. I like that on both sides. There are a lot of compliments on this. Some people are like, oh, where'd you get your spirit jersey? But yeah, France. It's a little, little boutique in France. And of course, there was a lot more stuff there that I wanted too. But I love the spirit jersey. Nobody else. I mean, unless you went there to get it, you couldn't get it at Disney Springs or World of Disney or something like that. Only at that store during the Flower and Garden Festival. And it's not online. So I love this one so cute but yeah those were from epcot and then i tried uh i think we're in the netherlands and i tried one of their little it's got a netherlands name uh pretzel it's not quite a pretzel though and it had almonds and stuff on it, it was really good and i almost got school bread but somebody else said the pretzel was better so i tried that the next time i need to get the school bread uh, let's see. I did not get a dough up this time. I forgot. I was going to and I forgot. I tried something. Well, obviously I got my Rice Krispie treat because I ate the ears off that. Um, oh, we went into Germany. We went into all the countries. but And they had, like, I tried a, a veggie quesadilla, I think, in Mexico. We tried that pretzel thing in the Netherlands. I should have wrote the name of it down. can't believe that. We had... I should have wrote this stuff down because I, so I forget stuff, short term memory type stuff. Thanks to my seizures and meds, I, I, I did a journal and so I try to write every day. So I remember what I did. Um, I know I had tea from Joffrey's and I have the cup. I saved the little plastic cup. Here it is. The little cup from Joffrey's. And look at that. It says the 50th on there. Can you? And it has some of the characters, the castle, uh, let's see, it's got the tree from Animal Kingdom, but yeah, it's a plastic cup, but I still saved it. Anyway, when we went into Germany, oh yeah, I forgot to show you this, I'm, I'm so sorry, I'm all over the place, I'm so excited. Look, that's the ticket from Cirque du Soleil, it says Tree of Life on it. Look at that, it's so fun to be doing a video again, it's been such a long time since I did one. Okay, this is what I was show you. We went to Germany, and look what my husband got us. This with it's a handmade, hand blown uh, Cinderella slipper, and it has my birthstone on it. Is that the cutest thing? And I put it on my perfume, uh, my glass for my perfume. I'm just gonna go in there with it. And it's my Rebus Brothers. So there's the box. Erebus or Erebus? It's probably Erebus. I'd probably say it wrong. I just want to say something with a Spanish flair to it. Like Erebus, but that's probably not how you say it. It's probably just Erebus. I don't know if you know how to say it. Correct me. But yeah, that was from Germany. Yeah. I think of Germany or Italy. Also... We bought this is just a reusable bag. I have so much to show you. I need to get on with it. I love this bag. We used it on the way home to put like granola bars and snacks and stuff in. That's a reusable. Oh, sorry. It's got the castle and some characters on it. And then it says got Disney 50th on the side. And now they're celebrating the 100. Oh, also at Pet, I saw Harmonious. And we were had met friends there. Like, they just became our friends because they like Disney and so did we, and we got to talking. And they were, like, we're in the front and center, like, of where you're, the best place there is to watch Harmonious. And I was able to sit right there in the front and center. It was my first time seeing Harmonious, and it was beautiful, breathtaking. You could just stand there forever. It was wonderful. Um, they had the water and the characters and the fireworks. It was just 
talk about, you know, being a kid. Oh, another thing. Disney depression is real. I used to think people were joking about it. And of course, when you go on vacation, you know, you miss the weather and you come home and it's all way back to the daily grind kind of thing. But we were there for like 16 days. It's wonderful. I am not kidding. Well, we left in the snow and came home in a sleet, rain, snowy type weird storm. And I cried that day because my body felt pleh. Because when we were in Florida with the sunshine and just relaxing, I felt so good. And when we came home, like, all the crud came back to me. And then the next day I cried because I missed Disney. I literally went on YouTube and I had to watch people walking around Disney Springs on YouTube on my big screen TV. And then, like, I don't know if I've done that. Then I had to show the kids some stuff on, on YouTube, on TV, and hear the music. And it was just, I literally cried out and off just watching it. It took a couple days because I could not, I could not, I told my husband this, I felt so silly. But I just wanted to be there in the fun. And it was relaxing and everybody's happy. And it is such a different, a different feeling, you know. Of course, you're on vacation, so you're not dealing with your everyday issues. But you're just... The weather and it was it was just it was terrific and of course it was just my husband and I for our anniversary so we were able to just to focus all that time on on each other and I recommend that and obviously people like to hate their kids but if you can get away with just your spouse and just have that time to be a kid again and laugh and and have that time together whether it's Disney or whether it's camping or a picnic I mean just something not your regular dinner in a movie type date just to get out and do something fun or do something different it your marriage needs that or your relationship needs that and we we really enjoyed it we made the we made the best of everything we did we played putt putt we watched concerts we walked around Disney Springs like almost every evening and, and we had dinner and we checked out the toys oh my gosh I, I got plushies I have to show you those too um we talked a lot. We ate breakfast in the patio at the resort, and it was just, oh, the Skyliner. That, I love that thing. You ride that all the time. Um, when, you, when it comes down, it feels like you're going to crash into the other one. It's like a free ride. We rode, rode all over to different resorts and everything, and ate at different restaurants. So uh, we had, um can't think of the meal of that. Sebastian's, is that the Caribbean Beach Resort? Sebastian's Bistro, I believe is what it's called, and they have this family style meal there and it's Caribbean Jamaican type food first time we've ever done that before so that was it was so much fun just to trying new things together um and it was our 28th anniversary and I, I did take uh notes in my journal every day to try to make sure I remember those things um and then my husband uh took pics I didn't take I didn't get on social media like the entire time I uh stayed off everything I just woke up and relaxed in the sun we went swimming we went for walks um we talked a lot but I completely stayed off uh all social media for that other than if my kids messaged me or something um in our group chat but yeah it it was the best time for us to like just reconnect and de-stress and just have that time together but okay enough of that Oh, and then I got this book. I'm not quite sure where he got this one from. It's The Story of Disney, 100 Years of Wonder. And that one also has... Here, look, here's a quote. I can never stand still. I must explore and experiment. I resent the limitations of my own imagination. And that's a quote from Walt Disney to himself there. And then this, of course, is 100 Years from How He Started. Again, with, you know, black and white pictures of of how he started to where they're at now and 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 you know you got pictures of of oh what is this the hall of hall of presidents or i always want to say hall of heroes but there's a blinken and you know there's photos in here from the what is it carousel carousel of progress that is that's my favorite ride i could sit there all day and always think it's a great big beautiful tomorrow. I could think of that, sing that song all the time. I love that ride. Let's see. Oh, where is it? I'm sorry. I'm gonna waste your time. Gonna, oh, look at this one. I think this is from Encanto. Let me see. Can you? There he is, right there in the bottom. No, that's not Encanto. That is uh, Coco. 
Yeah, that's Coco. I didn't count though. I got it mixed up. And then here's Minnie Mouse. Where, where, you know, like where they started to where they are now. And I'm going to go through this. Look at this one. He was awesome. He was absolutely amazing. And how, and I love how when it first opened, how the people were dressed and how classy everybody was. And this is a whole different era, you know. And people were so classy when they went to Disney in their suits and dresses. They're probably really hot though too. Okay, mugs. So this one I think is from World of Disney, Mickey's Coffee. There's that one. And it's got him and Minnie. Oh no, but this was that cot. I think this oh no, this was that cot. And they're in the different countries having their coffee. And look at that cappuccino with Mickey in it. I think they do that also at Joffrey's in the coffee. So there's that. Ceramic is a little top. There's that one. Where I put everything. Okay. And then this one. Orange Bird. I love Orange Bird. Look at that one. It's a classic one. He's so stinking cute. He's actually on sale today in their Fantasyland flash sale. The scented one is on sale. We don't have him to get him. Look at that. This is from Corksicle. It was more like a, a metal -y. I think this is online also. Really cute. I haven't even used it yet because I was waiting to do this video. Now I can use it. And then we got back last Sunday. And then, you know, I have to adjust everything. And I had tons of doctor's appointments. And then I waited until I was feeling better to do this. Now, these two my husband just ordered for me. Um, I love this one. It is the map. Of Disney, can you let me move this? Mm. Let me use, okay, there, there you go. So it's the map of Disney, and it has the numbers on it where everything is. And there's like Liberty Square and Frontierland and Adventureland. Mm, let me see. I am sorry if this is a blur. I try to. Anyway, if you been to Disney. I, th I think you can even Google the map. But anyway, it's got all the, you know, there's the, the Space Mountain and the, the cars. And it is an exact map of Magic Kingdom. I love this one. I love, <laughs> I love the map too. So yeah, this one he ordered. And then he ordered this one also. They came yesterday. And it says 1971 to 2021. has my name on it. And that's for the 100 years. No. That wouldn't be 100 years. I think that was the 50th. So, 2021. Yeah. But anyway, that was for Magic Kingdom. Isn't that? Oh, no, that's the 50th. Yeah, because it has a, duh, it has a 50 on it. And the castle. And then on top, it has fireworks and the 50th. It's got Tower of Terror and... The tree. Oh, I just noticed all that. Didn't look at it good enough yesterday. But that one is so cute. I I love these, so I'll be able to drink out of all of those. I got another. I got another mug, too. Let me, hmm, I don't know what to add in that. Okay, so yesterday I tried to do this video, and my computer wasn't working properly, so I had to use my phone. Well, I did it for too long, and I had to do three different videos, and then I just put everything off to the side. My husband fixed the computer. And now I'm able to redo this video so I can give it to you all at once. And then I got this mug because I didn't bring a big one with me to the resort. And I like to drink my coffee in the morning. And so this one, actually it's not even coffee. I put my medicine powder, my protein powder, and I do like a tablespoon of sugar-free coffee, a cappuccino. and that's, But it's it's mine. It makes me think I'm having my big coffee. 2023. Anyway, so it says 2023. And I think this one is... He grabbed that World of Disney store. And it has, who is that? Donald Duck, Goofy, Mickey, and Minnie on it. It's like 24 ounces though. Look at that. How big that is. It's huge. I love that mug. I had to wash it because I just used it the other day. Now these he got to, um, to take with me to, sorry. I'm 
I forget to take with me to Disney and he ordered these also and these were from Amazon so cheetah cracks and they're the clogs and they have the crack thing on the side see that and I love these because they're really good for arc support but look at the look at the it has a crown charm and it says love and then look at the mini charm on it the gibbet now I don't think these are from the crack gibbet store I believe these are uh, from a, you know, from a different site that they put on there, but those are so cute. I love them. Absolutely love them. I'm wearing some Tiffany blue ones right now that he got with it, and I haven't put the charms in those yet, but these ones, and I got a cheetah dress uh, to wear with it, a little cheetah like sundress, because I was, the plan was to wear them to like Animal Kingdom or something, but then it was kind of too much for me to do that too, so we did a car, and we walked around Disney Springs a lot, and did some other smaller things. Um, but we still got a little bit of Disney uh, uh, every day. So I didn't wear that to uh, Animal Kingdom. We went to Rainforest Cafe, though. But when we go again, then I'll wear to Animal Kingdom. Instead. Okay. Here's, I have a lot of clothes. He got me a shirt, a jersey, like from everywhere we went. And I'm still a little bit tan, but I feel like it's fading. It's probably not. I got really tan. Okay, so I have bags and I have spirit jerseys. Maybe I'll do half and half. So this spirit jersey is from, I think this one is from World of Disney. No. No, this one is from Epcot. So it's that peachy color. And this one is online. And it's that soft, fuzzy, almost like a thick terry cloth type. Like almost like a bathrobe feel. It's really soft. And at night when it was chilly, I got this. And here's the sleeves. Look, at it's embroidered with the flowers. And they do have ears to match this. I did not get those. I probably saw them, but it was a blur because people are all over. And it gets a little overwhelming, so I just grabbed this and went back out. Look at that. It's on both sleeves. And then, I don't know if I just showed you this or not. It says Walt Disney World down the back. And I like this one because it doesn't have the huge W. I mean, it's... You know, so it, and it, it's so relaxing and soft when you wear it. So, yeah. So, I got that one. And I got the Bon Jovi one. And then, I'll do it half a minute. I have so many. Okay, I got this sweatshirt. This is from uh, Disney Lifestyle or Disney Style, I think is the name of the store at, at Disney Springs. And this is just a blue. Just a basic blue. And it's, this is really soft, too. And warm. And I think I got this on our last day. Actually, just before we came home, we had to stop and get the kids some things. We got the girls. My one daughter got a Vera Bradley bag. The other one, she got a Star Wars Vera Bradley sling bag. And then we bought the boys my son-in-law's lightsaber. So one of them got a dark saber and one of them got Darth Vader lightsaber. So they were ecstatic about that. Then we had to go to the dog store. And then we had to get my grandpups. Had to get me to my little grand dog. The grand dog daughter, granddaughter dog, she got a little tiny mini squeaky that had a little tiny soft rope on it. And then my oldest uh, grand dog, he got, um, what are the rebels? No, not rebels. They're the white soldiers that wear the white costume and Star Wars. I cannot, sorry, I'm sure you know what their name is. I totally forgot what they're called. They have a pull rope on both sides and there's one of them in the middle and it had a squeaky toy so my grand dog blue he got one of those and then my grandpa ranger he got a baby yoda squeaky and he, they, he loves that so that's what we got for them i don't have them with me to show you so i'll show you one more and then oh my gosh you have so many okay i'll just finish showing the spirit jerseys because he got a lot of spirit jerseys way too many not complaining but he went crazy with the spirit jerseys. This one's my favorite because I love Orange Bird. And when I was little, the color orange was my favorite color. But here you go. Look at him. He's on sale right now, too. The scented one is. I have no idea if I already said that. The back of it says, spread in the sunshine. See that? And then look at the bottom of it. That's like him with the. Look at that. Can you see? Let me hold it all the way up. Look at that. 
That is so cute. I love it. Still has a tag. I have not worn it yet. They would come oversized, so I always get a small, because otherwise it's huge of me. I love that. And since I live up here in the north, I'll have plenty of time to wear it, because one day it's snowing, the next day it's 70, the next day it's like 38, and we have tornado weather, so. You know, I have to be able to wear it. And then, I got this spirit jersey. My husband really got a lot of spirit jerseys. I was getting them all out of the bags, and I was like, oh my gosh, what were you thinking? Um, This one is from the 50th. So here's the castle, and it, what does it say? Walt Disney World 50, can you see that right there? And it's a tie-dye effect on, is there any? Oh, it's just tie-dye on the front. And then here's the back, and it's the, and it's that gold puffy, you can see that. And then look at the bottom. And it's Mickey and Minnie and the fireworks and their little, there it goes. There's their little outfits. It's so cute. I haven't washed this one yet. And I'm probably going to have to see what it says. Uh, yeah, it says everything about how to wash it. Okay. For anyone who's got a spirit jersey recently, recently and everything else, the ears. What is up with the freaking book? I mean, you got pages and pages. Of course, it's in every kind of language possible. It's hard to just find the English one. It's like pages one through four. <laughs> Those are huge. I had wore one and I forgot about cutting that off. And I looked in the mirror um, at the resort and I got this big old long tag, tag hanging out of my shirt. So I had to cut that one off. But yeah, I'm going to have to cut all of those off. This one, it, like my one Bonjour one, it says to hang dry. One of them says to dry low. Some of them say, um, I don't know, they're all different. They're all made in different places. So I'm sure I can just do it like I did the other ones. Okay, so I will show you four more shirts and I'll show you some of the plushies. Because those are. Okay, so I've always wanted one of the cuddlies. So I did. I got a mini cuddlies. Look at her. Look at her little bottoms with the little ruffles. She's so cute. Oh my, she is so soft. Look. Sorry, honey. Like you could just totally, she's like a pillow. She's so cute to sleep with and to squeeze. And my husband's driving crazy on the way home because he thinks he can because he's a NASCAR in the left lane. Yeah, no. But this is a Cuddly's Mini and there's a Mickey too. Look at it. So cute, her little shoes. So cute. I absolutely love her. I wanted to run for the longest time. So I have her. And then... So for Moana, I like Pua. So I got a weighted Pua. Look at him. He's like three pounds. Actually, he feels heavier. They say that weight is only like two and a half, half pounds. Okay, look at these ears. Do you see these ears? They're so soft. And my granddaughter Granger has really soft ears like that. And I massage him when he falls asleep. So this reminds me of my, my grandpa Granger. But I think it's supposed to be like a weighted, kind of like a weighted blanket. like. In, anxiety type stuff. Could have used him on the way home too. But look, the back of it is this. Oh, let me see. Holy cow. I don't know if I should take it. Okay. The whole, this whole thing goes all the way to the front and it is completely full. That is way awesome. It does feel good. It kind of reminds me of falling asleep and holding my baby to my chest when they were little. It has that kind of feeling. Or <laughs> I had it when I, I was carrying it around like this on my hip. It kind of gives you that, like you're holding a baby kind of feeling. Because it's about that weight. It feels like it's at least, you know, a good 10 pounds. Or they say it's only like a... I'm not sure. I have to look it up. It's a, I think it's only supposed to be like a 3 pound weight. But there he is. And he is so, so soft. There is his tail. Also very soft. But yeah. That's Pua, weighted Pua. And I don't know if they only come in one size. I'll have to look that up. But there he is. And then, okay, I will show you my bags. <laughs> he really got so much, my word. I don't think you realize how much he got before I show you the rest of my shirts. Okay, so we went into Vera Bradley. Normally he gets me Waduni, but this time I wanted to look into Vera Bradley. And so we got these crossbodies. Let me see what it's called. It just says Disney Bear Bradley. Triple compartment crossbody. 
see and so these ones are, are I think in honor of the Flower and Garden Festival so they have um, a lot of the Disney characters you can see Wendy and then there's Tigger the Mad Hatter is on here there's a ton of them all over the place on the back of them is on the back of the bag is Snow White and some of the Seven Dwarves and I think those Lumiere was on. I think they make you might only be the classics. I don't know. They told me Lumiere was on them. The inside are a lot of the accessories that go with the characters. So this is the middle, and that closes with a magnet. If any of you are on the fence about these bags, there's two pockets here. There's another zipper pocket. This is one side of the double. Then there's sorry the snipples. This pocket also, and you can fit a lot in these. I mean, you wouldn't think so by the size, but all my necessities. And then here's this front. See? It's the triple pocket compartment. And then it has a crossbody that you can adjust. I'm probably moving this. Let me sit still for a second so you can look at it. Probably moving that around too much. Now, this one, it was like going to be 11 o'clock and just grabbed it real quick. Because we had that was after we had went to Cirque du Soleil and we had went to a late show at eight o'clock. Okay, so the first show was going to be like two days before, and right when they go to pick up the rope for us to go up to get our seats, they come out and cancel, or they came out and said that the show was canceled because of technical difficulties and for the safety of the uh, performers. So then our like, oh no! And so we were able to reschedule ours for the following week since we we're going to be there for two weeks. But it was so sad because some people were from different countries and were flying out and just had to get reimbursed. So there were another couple that was there for their anniversary and they were from Brazil and had to get reimbursed and come back another time. So we felt so bad for that. But we were able to see it and we were able to get uh, the front row seat. So that was pretty awesome. They're very nice and accommodating to us. And then this is my other bag. This one is, um, they told me water resistant or waterproof. Waterproof. But one of those. Let me, I took the tag off. Look at the placement. This one I got. The lady helped me find it. And look at the two on there. That is perfect. I got one for my daughter. And it's got Mickey here and Minnie there. And they're looking at each other. And it's so cute, hers is. And then um, here's the back, and there's more on there. And the inside, there's a different print. It's like a turquoise flower. I'm sorry, I just used it. I don't know what just fell out. I was using it when we were there. There's the middle, and it's the same thing as the other one with the pockets. And then it has them inside. But I love these bags. I didn't think I would because, you know, they're not very big, but with all the compartments you have you can definitely you know throw it on and have your uh, necessities with you so there's that now this one oh you know what i'm going to show you the rest of my shirts and then i'll save you the other bag for this so i got this hoodie i think this was like my first night we went to disney springs and we ate at uh, maria and enzo's for our anniversary we got there right on our anniversary and then it was chilly there so my husband grabbed this for me and there's Minnie and her bow is embroidered and fuzzy it's really cute and then and it's a zip up hoodie and then on this side it says um Minnie Mouse and there's a red bow it has her name there and it's really soft inside which is a white a zip up hoodie and here's a print on the inside of the hat Look at her expressions and polka dots all over because you know she loves polka dots. So I love that one. And then I had like a white uh, flowy t-shirt with black polka dots that I wore underneath that one. And this t-shirt was from World of Disney. And it says, my happy, let's see, my happy place. And rose gold on it. And then the top is like a... A tank here, and it's like what cold shoulder, I think, is what it's called. And it's flowy at the bottom, really comfy. I wore it with my legging capris. Holy cow, he resident really bought me a lot of stuff. <laughs> He's boiled me. And then this t shirt, he just grabbed this one Mickey and Minnie, and it's like the t shirt jersey t shirt. And it's flowy at the bottom. It's just got black and white with them two sitting there. I haven't worn that one yet. I did wear the other one already. 
I have five cups. That's crazy. And then on the way home, we went to Bucky's. So I'll just show you this because I love Bucky's. If and this was Bucky's in Georgia. Bucky's is a um oversized truck stop grocery store gas station that has fresh um fresh sandwiches and bistro not bistro what do you call it brisket that they fresh carve and bring out like a big old slab and and they make these amazing sandwiches and tacos and stuff right there in front of you and then they have this long um like meat case full of every kind of jerky you can think of and then on the other side is like Joanna Gaines uh, decorations and stuff your house and country saying t-shirts it's like um America <laughs> so we love that so <laughs> we really we really liked it and uh so there it says Bucky's Georgia and a t-shirt and then we got a um I try to save it but we didn't save it they make it on the way home a one and a quarter pound little Bucky squirrel head and it had a uh, um, he is not a squirrel. He is a beaver. Yeah. And it had all this peanut butter inside. I mean, my husband loves like, um, peanut butter cups and stuff like that. Well, it had melted. And then we went back to the, um, we did a resort for one week and then we did a house in Davenport that had a pool and everything just for us. So it had melted in the car. And we put it in the fridge or freezer that night. And then on the way home, he's like, Hey, let's eat that, uh, Bucky. Let's take a bite. While I open it, it was melted, and again, he's driving, so I'm trying to feed it to him, and we're eating this. Our hands were covered in chocolate and peanut butter. I had Luckily, I had some wipes and stuff. It was so good, but we honestly ate the whole thing. We, we were complete kids. Absolutely loved it. And then, okay, I have one more bag to show you. Yes, one more bag. Okay, now the bag that I wanted, my husband wasn't going to get me. It was a coach satchel, like this big, a decent size, three inches in diameter width, and maybe, you know, eight by eight this way. Maybe, I'm not sure the measurements, but it was like a small satchel. It had three straps. It's from the Disney Coach Rogue collection, and it's the same kind of print pattern as the one I'm going to show you. So they're like, oh, you know, I'm thinking, okay, price of a dooney, but it's my anniversary. He, was gonna get, he always gets me something like that. So I thought, okay, I'll get this instead of a dooney. We went back to look at this bag. I kid you not. The the first day in the this morning lady, she's like, oh yeah, I thought she said two ninety five. So my husband's like, okay, it's your anniversary. I'm gonna get this as your big gift. My, you know, no. We went back to that store, and this lady was like, it's eight ninety five, and there was suitcases, and I'm thinking she's like for a whole set. I'm like, no, no, just this one bag. And she said, yes, this one is eight ninety five. Would you like me to wrap it for you? And I was like, oh no, we're gonna look around, and you know. No, that bag was freaking eight ninety eight ninety five. That is more than my house payment. I still wanted the bag, but no. That was way too that was way too expensive. My face was like, you must be crazy. Like my husband was like, Do you have a coupon? <laughs> it's like so yeah, no, we were not getting that bag. That was ridiculous. But he did get me this crossbody, which I do love still, and it was the same print. And also from the same collection, and it is a little crossbody, and it was the Flower and Garden Festival. So this the one says Garden Gang, and this is Mickey's Flower Patch, and then there's Minnie holding flowers. And since he went for the Flower and Garden Festival, he wanted to get me something like that. So here's the, the inside pocket. But this is on the outside, so I can put my phone in here. And then my basics. It doesn't open very wide, but it's enough, you know, for all the... For my quick stuff and grab it and go to the store or something, I can throw my, uh, you know, nudge or whatever I need to take with me. You know, so, yeah, here, let's say, here's a strap. Let's see. Goodness sakes, this has a lot of cards, too. And, and I had grabbed one off of the, that was hanging there. But, no, they give you, this was all wrapped up. But I tried to do the video the other day, and it, failure so anyway they do give you a new one so this is the one it was like i said this was, everything was completely wrapped the tag was wrapped separate it was so hard to open it says disney coach uh yeah here's the disney act coach yeah but so this was my my big present this one on top of everything else he got me that he only wanted the bonjour jersey by the way and Pua, and Minnie, 
and only one mug. And I really like the cracks too. But, okay, maybe that one's about what even about all, the, <laughs> all of the other stuff. <laughs> oh my, if I just said something was cuter, oh, I like this or that, and just walked, he'd be like, well, I'm getting that. So, I'm going to have to watch, watch it next time. Oh, that tag was on. I don't know if that said anything. Oh, here's the little, the little tag that goes on it. It says Disney coach and leather. Oh well, yeah, so there's, I'm, li I'm literally looking for more in case you got me something else. But yeah, no, it was absolutely fabulous. I, when we left, I was so nervous because you're leaving the kids and everything, and my kids are adults, they're married, they're fine. But still, you know, I'm a mom. Um, and when we got there, uh, the sun, oh, the sun was shining, and it was a little bit partly cloudy, but I didn't care because we left from a snowstorm, and I was so happy to be there. Um, we went for a walk at the resort, and then um, we grabbed dinner there at the resort that night, and you know, just unpacked and kind of relaxed from the trip. And then um, we just really spent time together, and I could have just probably sat in the sun and swam with my husband. That would have been fine with me, and everything else was a plus, you know, just really enjoyed each other um i can't wait to my next anniversary i can't wait to my next vacation or the weekend or just no i can't wait the weekend i'm getting stem cell injection our weekend is thursday friday and i'm getting a stem cell injection so i'm not looking forward to that so not this weekend but the next weekend that we have i'm looking forward to when we go like hiking or just going to the park or just having that time together i i was so nervous about empty nesting and you know the girls would be gone and what am i going to do but i we've just poured ourselves into each other and it's it's been wonderful it has been absolutely wonderful and i don't know it's it's whether i'm going to the zoo or or to disney or or sitting out on my deck and just having that time with my husband has really um strengthened our marriage and, and brought us so much closer and just I don't know it's just it's hard to explain but um it no matter what stage you're at in your marriage your first year fifth tenth you know twentieth whatever just make sure you take that time and I do recommend going to Disney because it's you're able to, you, you totally feel like you're a kid again completely um my my husband had a lot of fun too so so that is my massive video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to hopefully try to be doing more again now that, you know, all the craziness is kind of settled and the, and the kids are in their own houses and everything, you know, everybody's doing their own thing now. Um, I will be eventually uh, moving into the other room. My husband's going to be getting it ready for me and this one's getting kind of small. Well, I'm getting too much stuff in here. Actually, I need the other room. Um, we're going to do... Uh, you know, I can do my crafts a lot easier because everything is getting crowded here. And I want to have a really nice reading corner because I love to read. Um, also, we're going to turn this one to like, um, for women, if, if anyone has to stay the night or something like that. But well, actually, I'm kind of going to have both rooms because I have all my lounge flies. What a mess. Anyway, when we do the other room, I'll definitely do a tour and show you. We're going to rip out the carpet, put a new flooring, paint it. So it's going to be... It's going to be really nice. Um, thank you so much for watching. I, I hope you have an amazing day. I hope you have, um, get out, have an adventure. Um, no, no matter where you're at, go in your backyard, uh, go for a walk in the woods. Just, just have some time to get away. Uh, I hope, you know, God bless. And I, I hope you're all well. And it is so good to be back on here. I really miss doing, doing videos, uh, for you all. And, um, yeah, so I guess that's it. Maybe I'll try to nibble. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I bit the ears off. I really did try to save it, though. That was my plan. And then I took a bite, and then I told my husband, oh, you should take a, just take a little bite. And then we, it was like just a nibble. And then next thing you know, there is many. So sad. Anyway, I hope you have a magical day. Uh, God bless. Stay healthy. Have a wonderful Easter. And hopefully I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.